Happy Year of the Ox, the new event is coming into Rise of Kingdoms and I'm going to go ahead and give it a review because the event is available in Kingdom 1002 and you want to know, is it worth it? How good this event is? Can you get value out of it? Let's find out in this video. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdom video. My name is Legend Ronnie and today we're going to review Happy Year of the Ox. This is going to be the new event that you probably have it in your calendar. The event is right now available in Kingdom 1002 because they usually get them a little bit sooner just in case something is not working right and it needs adjustment. They are able to fix it. But we will get it as well in about two days. The first thing about the event is something that you all know. It's five days of doing various tasks, either logging in, gathering resources, academy research, training troops, killing barbarians, etc, etc. And you get up to 100 epic commanders captures, speed ups and tome of knowledge. This is the skin that you can get from this event. Looks uh, very interesting to tell you the truth. Archer defense 5%, cav attack minus 5%. Looks quite alright if you plan to do a lot of Archer or if you're doing some Archer rallies and you don't have a good design for it, then you should definitely try to get it. Lucky Red Packet. If you all missed it, you all know how many gems some people make from this or speed ups. That's gonna blow your mind. This is a very nice thing that you are able to send this again to your alliance. So everyone is going to benefit from a lot of goodies. But the sherry on top of the cake, or what everyone is highly interested in about, is the lanterns of togetherness. I have tried to decorate it a little bit, but it only went four. Going on to the first one, is the free one. So what do you get? Red packets. City Hall must be level 8 to use this function. You get one, two red packets, you get speed ups and various other things. The second part is the 7,000 gems. Now the question is, does it worth it to spend the 7,000 gems? Well, let's find out. You get five sculptures, then you get gems, you get gems again, so it's 2,000 gems, 10 sculptures so far, plus speed ups, plus the permanent city skin, we get another 1,500 gems, that brings us to 3,500 gems, 50,000 expansion, hold on. Just hold on. Am I seeing right? That's 50,000 troops capacity expansion. Wow. I did not expect them to give us something like that. That's huge. And then is another 2,000 gems. So that's 5,500 gems. Then you get another 1,000 because it's the free side. So there you have 7,000 gems. You get your gems back by just unlocking this. And you get 10, 25, 35 sculptures if you manage to complete this. This is one of the best free-to-play events in Rise of Kingdoms. Now the question is, does it worth it to spend the $10, 10 pounds to unlock the third part of this event? Well, let's go ahead and let's find out. You get VIP, you get materials, you get level four pick one resources. These are level three on the left side. These are level four. Going further down, you get materials, speed ups, and you get colored paper. Now with colored paper, you can decorate your lantern. So you probably don't have to buy the bundle to max this thing out. It's going to help you out. I would say that that's pretty nice. Then you have more materials. Going further down, you have equipment keys, level four pick one resources, speed ups, eight hours of speed ups. We had speed ups previously. Two pieces of epic equipment, 30 pieces of level four pick one resources, three days of speed ups universal and then two legendary equipment material i honestly say that it's highly worth it to unlock it you get so many goodies for 10 pounds or 10 dollars but you want to make sure that if you do unlock this you can reach level 25 because if you can't reach level 25 then probably it's not going to worth it but again if you reach level 25 this is highly worth it you get so much value out of it. Not to mention that you get chess pieces. You get quite a lot of chess pieces. I guess that enough for a blueprint. Yeah, that's enough for a blueprint. A lot, a lot of value that you can get from this event with um, 
ten dollars that's gonna be amazing i really can't wait for this to start i'm probably gonna try to boost this as fast as possible once it's gonna come into our kingdom because i think it's gonna come in two days and just um, get this done so i can get all these materials and all this stuff because this is very juicy strange incidents is gonna be an event similar like we had in the past with the ghost where you have to complete a couple of tasks you find various things on the map like caves or probably they're gonna look like a fountain or some villagers or whatever and you're gonna help them basically and you're gonna complete the quest some of the quests that we had during the ghost it was with um, researching and building and because some of the players had max buildings or max tech like i do those quests were getting automatically complete that was helping a lot because you were just completing this event now i'm not sure if this event is going to be similar of those but if it's going to be then that's going to be pretty nice this is just something extra and you get more colored paper so you can upgrade your ox i guess or your lantern and here you have it ladies and gentlemen arms training lohar with hands blueprints fragment choice chest challenge an arm master lohar that gets increasingly stronger how long can you last blueprint fragment choice says we have the pants but unfortunately it's not the pair of pants that everyone is looking for ash of the dawn eternal night and cape of the war god everyone is looking for the set piece pair of pants because i know everyone was keep asking to get uh, pants fragment and they are indeed adding it but it's not the type of pants fragment that everyone was looking for everyone wants the pants fragment from the set well at least we're getting pants fragment right <laughs> so that is out of the way as well i think this is a very amazing event this is the best free to play event ever definitely work on it definitely max it out and if you do plan to to spend this is a no-brainer or if you just want to unlock it then definitely just go for it and get it because like i said it's definitely it's worth it that's all i have to say about this let me know in the comment section below what you think about this event adding a third thing as well on it with a unlock cacheable system i think that's pretty good because for a low amount for a low value you can get quite a lot of things until next time this is your boy john signing off peace out tell and take care see you on the next one and stay safe out there my friends